fry it up a little bit, bloom the spices. such a good chef seriously <laughs> like cooking skills on point good morning i am so excited today is a day i have been dreaming about for so long good here yeah so today is the day i can officially announce that our our episode <laughs> yay after two days of working on it two days two years <laughs> only in two days if only, that would be great. So it's officially out. For our iOS users, this is for you. For our Android users, we're currently working on that version. So thank you for being patient with us. But yeah, like Robin said, it's been two years in the making. And it's just like something we've poured so much of our heart and soul into. There is no outside party. We built this all ourselves at Pickup Lens. Robin coded it himself. Our team of recipe developers and dietitians have worked so hard on the nutrition and recipe features that are in there. And yeah, there's over 800 recipes currently in the app, over half of which are exclusive to the app, which means you can only find it in there and nowhere else. And there's new recipes uploaded every single weekday. That means every Monday to Friday, you're opening the app to a new recipe. It's not just recipes though. If you want to make sure that you're eating in a balanced way throughout the week. We also developed a special nourish feature that allows you to plan your meals without focusing on numbers. There's also the option to add things to your grocery shopping list, add your own custom groceries, your own custom recipes, and a whole lot more. So today's video is a what I eat in a day video, but I'm not gonna lie, it's also a shameless plug for our app because I wanna highlight some of the amazing features that are in there. And so if you wanna learn more about the app, if you wanna get it for yourself, check out the link in the description box below. And to celebrate this milestone, we're doing a giveaway of the app so you can win a one-year subscription to the app for you and your friends. And there's even a possibility to win lifetime access to the app. But I'm gonna share more about it at the end of the video. For now, I'm hungry. Let's make some breakfast. So what I did is I already applied some filters for breakfast recipes and meals that come together in 30 minutes or less because we're pretty hungry. And I liked all of the ones that I know we have groceries for. So Robin, these are your options. Oh, that looks really good. Um, I'm gonna pick the blended raspberry and chocolate oats. Yeah? And it looks like a ball of chocolate. It does, but it's actually only on the top. There's other stuff underneath it. But what you can do here is you can actually scroll down and you can see how many servings the recipe makes. This one makes just one, so I'm gonna bump that up to two. And what's really cool is you can cross out the ingredients while you're working through the list. You can swipe over to directions and you can cross those out as well so you're not forgetting where you are. But my favorite feature by far is this little make button on the bottom, which I like to call the cook along mode. So if you click that, there's essentially just a photo for every single direction and every ingredient you need to complete a particular direction is with it as well. So it just makes your life so much easier. There's even a timer feature. How cool is that? Okay, let's make it. <laughs> I'm trying to hide there. <laughs> Always putting everything in the sink. Don't look, don't look. The rose grits. Almond butter. It's sticky! What is it? Call it, what's the movie? I have no idea. Are you call yourself a Lord of the Rings fan? No, it's not a Lord of the Rings. It's sticky! What is it? When he gets caught in the web of the spider? It's sticky! What is it? No. No. Yeah. No. Watch, I'll show you. I'll show you. And then we put these in the fridge so that the chocolate hardens just for a few minutes. Oh, there we go. Ta da! <laughs> you want some oatmeal with your chocolate? <laughs> That's really good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Smoothie meets oatmeal meets dessert all in one. It has been so hot in the Netherlands these last few days. And so Robin and I are just gonna go cool off. We're gonna go to the beach. So kombucha, iced coffee, cupcakes. Let's go. How do I deal with what I'm feeling? Maybe I just don't. came here recently with a friend. She introduced me to this place. And it's so close to our house. Yeah, what was that? What Seven minute drive? I'm in ruins all along. Let's go to a restaurant. A book on marketing.
kidding. Because I need to learn how to market the app. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's figure it out. Let's go swim. I want to swim. Let's, swim. <laughs> Let's go to a restaurant. Go to a field. Pick up some strawberries that may be let Lekker. Is het Dutch coming? Slecht. <laughs> nee. Ja hoor. Nee. Praat het bijna nooit. Yeah, that's perfect. It's makkelijk. Filming leaving. <laughs> this was great. That was nice. To the car wash. Car wash behemoth. Okay, which plan do we want? Maximum? The everything? The everything. I like like the disco lights in the back yeah. in the different colors. Oh, the car really needs this. It's like an amusement park. Yeah. I'm gonna go grocery shopping right now and I'm gonna be making dinner tonight for myself and a couple of friends but we're gonna be setting up a surprise birthday party so we don't really have time to like sit and enjoy the food it's got to be something that we can like portably eat while we do other things I think what I'm gonna make are these vegan honey mustard wraps don't they look so good it's like crispy tofu and like some veggies in this wrap anyway and so I need the groceries for it I'm just gonna scroll down I'm gonna add this to my grocery list and I can check off things that I already have. So like I already have garlic powder, I already have salts, I already have uh, oil and vegan mayo. So now I'm gonna add that to my grocery list and then navigate over to the groceries tab. And there it is. If I had more than just one recipe, I would see them stacked here. And up here at the top is like my meta, like my all of my groceries in one place. Master. Not the right word? Master, thank you. <laughs> and then I can add my own custom things. Like I know we need the house, we're just out of arugula and I would like some. So I can see it here. This is an ingredient we already have in our system. You can indicate an amount, you don't have to, but I know I need about a cup's worth of it. And I can add that and you'll see it's slotted in under the fruit and vegetable header. So it's already kind of categorized based on the section of the grocery store, just to make your life so much easier when you're grocery shopping. But anyway, that's how you use it. How cool is that? And if you accidentally check something off and you didn't mean to, you can just put it back on your list by rechecking it. We're done here. So the trip through the grocery store actually was really fluid because everything was pre-organized. Yeah. I'm so excited to eat. I'm so hungry. Robin made the most incredible dinner last night and I knew we were gonna have it for leftovers today. So we actually filmed us making it, mostly him making it yesterday. So let's flash back to that now, shall we? I love your sound effects. <laughs> it helps, right? Hi there, hello from yesterday. I'm gonna be making a traditional Indonesian dish. It's called soto ayam. Soto is soup, ayam is chicken. I'm gonna make a vegan version of that. Sadia is gonna put it in the Pickup Limes app and we have a feature where you can record your own recipes and ingredients and your steps and everything so that we know how to make this again later. Because I don't tend to write anything down usually. How spicy do you want it? Ooh, I want it spicy. Okay, I'm gonna put the ingredients in the I love when you cook, it's so chaotic. You're like my mother. You're like, I want a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You don't need to measure anything, just do it, which is great. Yeah. But then how do we communicate it to the peeps at home? I know, we write it down, like you do that. That's right. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry about it. We're good. Okay. That's delicious. 
Really? I'm not just saying that. Really, wow. Why, why, why is this the first time you've made this for me? Oh, it's not gonna be the last. I'll tell you that. These are the ingredients. I can even move them around. Ooh. These are the directions. Nice. Oh, and do you want to take a photo too? No, 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 we'll do that tomorrow. Robin. What are we gonna do right now? Take a picture. That's right. Yeah, I think that looks good. There's there's a recipe with the ingredients and the directions. Go to info and then nutrition details. Look Work. at that. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. <laughs> and show them the flowers. The flowers we planted. They look pretty happy, yeah. You wouldn't think that on a hot day like today that you would want a hot soup. A hot spicy, spicy soup. soup. Yeah. I don't believe this either, but my dad really always tells me like that's exactly what you want. I can't mm -hmm. say the same. You sweat it out, and then when you sweat, you it cools you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also have like hot tea on really hot days, and I'm like, how? How do you not want like an iced drink? What is that? We got married almost a year ago actually and robin's mom got us the sweetest and most thoughtful gift which is that every two weeks we get flowers delivered to our house and it's so nice all year long to just have flowers on the table and they last a really long time they're fresh they like support local um you call them farmers flower farmers anyway and it's always a surprise you don't know what you're getting seasonal so let's see what it is this time it's like a flower subscription. Yeah. What I usually like to do before I begin is I just look at the ingredient page and I set out all of the ingredients that I know I'm gonna need for this particular recipe. And once everything is out on the table, then I just click this make or cook along mode and then I begin. So first up, we gotta chop some tofu. a silicone pastry brush to coat each cooked tofu strip in the maple mustard sauce. My taste tester. Oh, really good. The pièce de la résistance. Perfect match. Merci. Fold in. Up and over. I'm gonna take these to eat with the girls later on. Robin's going to his bachelor party though, so you can decide if you want to eat it now. I'll have a little bit. Yeah? Yeah because I kind of want to have a bite too. Yeah. Hey, just like in the photo. <laughs> yeah? Love the mustard honey sauce, really good.
right, friends, it's giveaway time. And again, to our Android users, thanks for being patient as we finish up the Android version. I promise we're gonna do another giveaway like this when that version is out, so you're not missing out on anything. But to celebrate the launch of the app, what we wanted to do is give away one year long subscriptions to five different people here on YouTube. And to enter to win, all you gotta do is leave a comment below sharing which feature of the app you're most excited for. And then we also wanted to make things a little bit sweeter. We thought, you know, if you already have a subscription to the app, even if you're still in the seven day free trial period and you win this giveaway, what we're gonna do instead is grant you lifetime access to the app. This is our way of saying thank you for supporting us in these early stages. So be sure to download the app and give it a try before the giveaway ends. And if you also wanna increase your chances of winning, head over to our TikTok and Instagram accounts because we're choosing five different winners on each of those platforms too. And to make things a little bit more interesting, you can also tag your friends on those platforms. If you win, your friends also win a one-year subscription to the app. The giveaway ends in just a few days. We're gonna announce the winners on each respective platform. So on YouTube, that's gonna be on YouTube community posts. And I think that's pretty much it. If you do try out the app and if you enjoy it, if you wanna leave us a review on the App Store, it would mean so much, you have no idea. Especially in these early stages, I'm personally moderating those comments. And if you have any support related questions at all, just pop us an email. We are getting back to those emails ASAP. But thanks so much. This honestly wouldn't have been possible without you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging with me yesterday and today. Pick up lines signing off and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.